And many of you still have a file server you can't figure out how to get rid of because you don't understand how SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams work together. And your file server has been around a long time and its folder structure and security configuration is a big mess. And if you're like most of the companies we talk with that have file servers still, there are tons of files in that file server that are dated and irrelevant. And they're just useless noise in your system that bog down your file searches. And yet you have continued to carry those old files over from file server upgrade to file server upgrade. And you also likely pay to back up those old files offsite with offsite backup systems. And you have no visibility or control on who is doing what with your files once you give them access to a file folder. So once you give them access to a folder, they can do anything they want, intentional or unintentional. They can make copies of sensitive or highly valuable files. They can make copies of entire folders if they like. They can copy those files to a USB drive or they can just log into their Google Drive and upload them there right from their desktop. You never know what happened and they aren't going to tell you, especially if they're on their way out and leaving the company. And look, people also make innocent mistakes. They can attach a sensitive file to an email and they can accidentally send it to the wrong person or they could store a sensitive file on their personal computer, which has no encryption or security protection whatsoever. The reality of file servers is that they are configured basically the same way we did it in 1996 with Windows NT4. We created a shared folder, we applied a security group, and then we added or removed users to the security group. And then remote access to the file server is provided through a VPN on the firewall. And then once users have access to the file server folder, they can do anything they want and there's nothing to track where those files are going. And that's only half the problem because user security is pretty much the same as 1996. We have a domain controller server that holds a list of usernames that are easy to guess with passwords that never change. And if we do things like require password changes or complex passwords, and we don't allow users to reuse their old passwords, it forces the users to work around our security by writing down passwords on a piece of paper and storing it in their desk or storing those passwords in a fake Outlook contact or storing those passwords and usernames on their personal smartphone. So it's really just best to assume that some of your users have given out their usernames and passwords through phishing email attacks or hackers have already have some of your passwords by hacking into third-party websites that your company uses every day to do work. Where that third-party website, the username is your company email address, which is easy to figure out, and the password on that third-party website is the same password you use in your company every single day. And then from there, the hacker will just see which logins will work so they can access those files and see if they then can use that to blackmail and extort your company. And all of this can be prevented by getting your files into Office 365 and making Azure Active Directory your primary identity service and turning on multi-factor authentication. So when a hacker steals one of your user's accounts and now they're logging in from Russia on a computer that Azure Active Directory has never seen before, it can say, hold on here, let me pause this for a second. I've never seen this user log in from Russia on this computer, so let me go ahead and ring this user's cell phone back in the United States to make sure it's really them. And then from that point, the sign-in attempt will fail and your files will stay safe. And some of you watching this have big shot clients like Fortune 500 type clients. And those clients will audit your IT security. They want to know how you will protect their data they give you to work on and how you're going to keep that data safe. And I don't imagine most of you are filling out their audit forms by stating how things really are that your company effectively uses 1996 file sharing technology and 1996 security protections. But that is the reality of 99% of the companies that I talk with that have file servers. The server operating system might be updated due to a hardware refresh. So it's now Windows Server 2012 or Windows Server 2016, or maybe even some of you have Windows Server 2019 file servers but the IT managers security skills and the configurations they put in place are still effectively Windows NT4. Then you need to find the right Microsoft Cloud partner and you can reach us at 847-995-9800 or you can email us at support at if you'd like to talk further about getting these modern capabilities and protections for your files in your company. Having your files inside of Microsoft 365 Cloud Services is a phenomenal way to work. Thanks for watching.